Namaste, lovely souls, and welcome back to Artist at Living. Today, we're taking a profound step forward on our journey of self-discovery. If you've ever wondered how solitude can become your greatest strength, you're in the right place. Together, we'll unlock the next level of being alone and uncover the hidden power within you to live fully and with deep purpose. Let's dive into this transformative experience with the wisdom of Buddhist teachings. Let's start with the introduction to the concept of being alone. In today's fast-paced world, we are constantly surrounded by people, technology and distractions. It's easy to forget the value of spending time alone. But what if I told you that being alone can be one of the most powerful experiences in life? What if being alone could lead to a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you? In this video, we will explore the concept of living alone and living fully, drawing wisdom from Buddhist teachings. Buddhism teaches us that solitude is not something to be feared. Instead, it is a path to self-discovery, inner peace and a deeper connection with the universe. Let's start by understanding what it means to be alone. Being alone doesn't just mean being physically by yourself. It means embracing your own company and finding contentment in it. It's about learning to be at peace with your thoughts, your emotions and your own presence. When you are comfortable being alone, you discover the power of your inner world. The fear of being alone. Many of us fear being alone. We associate solitude with loneliness, sadness, or even failure. Society often tells us that we should always be surrounded by friends, family, or partners. We are conditioned to believe that being alone is a sign of weakness, or that it means something is wrong with us. But this fear is based on a misunderstanding. Loneliness and solitude are not the same. Loneliness is a feeling of emptiness a longing for connection. It is possible to feel lonely even when surrounded by people. On the other hand, solitude is a state of being alone without feeling lonely. It is a deliberate choice to spend time with yourself, to listen to your inner voice and to reconnect with your true self. Buddhist teachings encourage us to confront our fear of being alone. They remind us that solitude is not something to be afraid of but rather something to be embraced. It is in solitude that we find the space to reflect, to grow, and to heal. The Benefits of Solitude When we embrace solitude, we open ourselves to a world of benefits. One of the most significant benefits is the opportunity for self-reflection. When you are alone, you have the space to think deeply about your life, your choices, and your path. You can ask yourself important questions like, who am I and what do I truly want? These questions are the starting point for personal growth and spiritual awakening. Solitude also allows us to connect with our inner wisdom. In the quiet moments of being alone, we can hear the whispers of our intuition. We can tune in to the guidance of our inner self, which often gets drowned out by the noise of everyday life. This inner wisdom is a powerful tool for making decisions, understanding our purpose and finding peace. Another benefit of solitude is that it helps us build resilience. When we spend time alone, we learn to rely on ourselves. We discover our own strength and capabilities. We become more self-sufficient and less dependent on others for our happiness. This resilience is essential for navigating the challenges of life with grace and confidence. Embracing solitude in daily life. Now that we understand the value of solitude, let's explore how we can embrace it in our daily lives. It's important to recognize that solitude doesn't always mean retreating to a quiet place for hours or days. It can be integrated into our everyday routines in small, but meaningful ways. 1. Start your day with quiet time. One of the best ways to embrace solitude is to start your day with some quiet time. 
This could be as simple as sitting in silence for a few minutes, meditating, or even taking a peaceful walk. The key is to begin your day by connecting with yourself before engaging with the world. This practice sets a calm and centered tone for the rest of your day. Two, disconnect from technology. We live in a world where we are constantly connected to our devices. While technology has its benefits, it can also be a major source of distraction. To truly embrace solitude, it's important to disconnect from technology regularly. This could mean turning off your phone for an hour, avoiding social media, or spending time in nature without any gadgets. By disconnecting, you create space to reconnect with yourself. 3. Practice mindful activities. Engaging in mindful activities is another way to experience solitude. Activities like reading, journaling, or even doing household chores can be done mindfully. When you focus on the task at hand and do it with full awareness, you enter a state of solitude where your mind is calm and present. These moments of mindfulness allow you to be alone with your thoughts in a peaceful way. 4. Spend time in nature. Nature is a powerful source of solitude. Spending time in natural surroundings, whether it's a park, a beach, or a forest, helps you feel more connected to yourself and the universe. The beauty of nature has a calming effect on the mind and soul, making it easier to embrace solitude. Take regular walks in nature, sit by a river, or simply observe the sky. These moments of connection with nature can be deeply nourishing. 5. Create a sacred space. Having a sacred space in your home dedicated to solitude can be incredibly beneficial. This could be a corner of a room where you keep things that bring you peace, such as candles, incense, or meaningful objects. Use this space for meditation, reflection, or simply sitting in silence. Having a designated area for solitude helps reinforce the importance of this practice in your life. The Spiritual Dimension of Solitude Beyond the practical benefits, solitude also has a profound spiritual dimension. In Buddhism, solitude is seen as a way to deepen one's spiritual practice. When we are alone, we can explore the depths of our mind and soul without distractions. This exploration leads to greater self-awareness, enlightenment and inner peace. Buddhist monks often spend long periods in solitude, meditating and reflecting on the nature of existence. They understand that true wisdom and understanding come from within, and solitude is the key to accessing this inner knowledge. While we may not all be monks, we can still benefit from incorporating these practices into our lives. 1. Meditation and Solitude Meditation is one of the most powerful practices for embracing solitude. When you meditate, you turn your attention inward, focusing on your breath, thoughts and sensations. This inward focus creates a space of solitude where you can observe your mind without judgment. Over time, meditation helps you develop a deep sense of inner peace and clarity. 2. Contemplation and Reflection Another spiritual practice that benefits from solitude is contemplation. Contemplation involves thinking deeply about spiritual questions or teachings. When you are alone, you have the space to contemplate the nature of life, the universe, and your place in it. This reflection leads to greater insights and a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. 3. Connection with the Divine for those who believe in a higher power, solitude can be a time for connecting with the divine. Whether through prayer, meditation, or simply sitting in silence, solitude allows you to open your heart and mind to the presence of the divine. This connection can bring comfort, guidance, and a sense of purpose in your life, overcoming the challenges of solitude. While solitude offers many benefits, it can also present challenges. For some, being alone can bring up feelings of anxiety, 
restlessness or discomfort. These feelings are natural, especially if you are not used to spending time alone. However, with practice, you can learn to overcome these challenges and fully embrace the power of solitude. 1. Facing your inner demons. When you spend time alone, you may come face to face with your inner demons, negative thoughts, unresolved emotions, or past traumas. This can be difficult, but it is also an opportunity for healing. In solitude, you have the space to confront these issues head on, without distractions. By acknowledging and working through these challenges, you can free yourself from their hold and find inner peace. 2. Developing Patience Another challenge of solitude is the need for patience. In our busy lives, we are used to constant stimulation and quick results. Solitude, however, requires a slower pace. It asks you to be patient with yourself and with the process of self-discovery. By cultivating patience, you can learn to appreciate the stillness and quiet that solitude brings. 3. Embracing Discomfort It's also important to embrace discomfort. Solitude may not always be easy or comfortable, but it is in these moments of discomfort that true growth occurs. By sitting with your discomfort, rather than trying to escape it, you allow yourself to grow stronger and more resilient. Over time, you will find that what once felt uncomfortable becomes a source of strength and peace. Now, let's explore the power of being alone. Now that we've discussed the spiritual dimension and challenges of solitude, let's delve into the true power that comes from being alone. When you embrace solitude, you tap into a source of inner strength that is not easily shaken by the outside world. This power manifests in several ways. 1. Clarity of mind. One of the most significant benefits of being alone is the clarity it brings to your mind. In solitude, without the constant noise and opinions of others, you can think more clearly. Your thoughts are your own, unclouded by external influences. This clarity allows you to make decisions with greater confidence and insight. You begin to see things as they truly are, rather than through the lens of societal expectations or the opinions of others. 2. Emotional Stability Solitude also brings emotional stability. When you spend time alone, you become more in tune with your emotions. You learn to recognize and process your feelings without relying on others for validation or support. This emotional independence makes you more resilient in the face of life's challenges. You are less likely to be swayed by external circumstances because your emotional foundation is strong and rooted within yourself. 3. Creativity and Innovation Being alone is a fertile ground for creativity and innovation. When you have the space to think freely without distractions, your mind can explore new ideas and perspectives. Many great artists, writers and thinkers have found their best work in solitude. It is in these quiet moments that inspiration strikes, leading to breakthroughs and creative insights that might not have been possible in a crowded or noisy environment. 4. Inner Peace and Contentment Perhaps the most profound power of being alone is the inner peace and contentment it brings. In solitude, you learn to find happiness within yourself, rather than seeking it from external sources. This self-sufficiency leads to a deep sense of fulfillment and tranquility. You no longer feel the need to chase after material possessions, social status, or the approval of others. Instead, you find joy in the simple act of being. Solitude and Relationships Interestingly, embracing solitude can also improve your relationships with others. When you are comfortable being alone, you enter relationships from a place of wholeness rather than neediness. You are not looking for someone to complete you because you are already complete. This makes your relationships more balanced, healthy and fulfilling. 
1. Enhancing communication. When you spend time alone, you become more attuned to your thoughts and feelings. This self-awareness enhances your ability to communicate effectively with others. You can express yourself more clearly and listen more deeply. This improved communication fosters stronger connections and more meaningful relationships. 2. Setting healthy boundaries. Solitude also helps you set healthy boundaries in your relationships. When you know the value of your own company, you are less likely to tolerate toxic or draining relationships. You become more discerning about who you spend your time with and how you allow others to treat you. This leads to more respectful and supportive relationships that align with your values and well-being. 3. Appreciating others. Paradoxically, spending time alone can increase your appreciation for others. When you take time to be by yourself, you begin to value the moments you share with others even more. You approach relationships with a sense of gratitude rather than expectation. This shift in perspective brings more harmony and joy into your interactions. The Role of Solitude in Personal Growth Personal growth is one of the most significant outcomes of embracing solitude. When you are alone, you have the time and space to reflect on your life, your goals and your journey. This reflection is essential for growth, as it allows you to evaluate your progress, learn from your experiences and make necessary changes. 1. Self-discovery Solitude is a journey of self-discovery. In the quiet moments of being alone, you have the opportunity to explore who you truly are, beyond the roles and labels society places on you. You can reconnect with your true self, your passions and your purpose. This self-discovery is the foundation for personal growth, as it helps you align your life with your authentic self. 2. Overcoming limiting beliefs When you are alone, you can also confront and overcome limiting beliefs. These are the negative thoughts and patterns that hold you back from reaching your full potential. In solitude, you can examine these beliefs, question their validity, and replace them with more empowering ones. This process of inner transformation is crucial for personal development and success. 3. Cultivating Inner Strength Finally, Solitude helps you cultivate inner strength. When you spend time alone, you learn to rely on yourself and trust your own judgment. This self-reliance builds confidence and resilience, enabling you to face life's challenges with courage and grace. You become more self-assured, knowing that you have the strength within you to navigate whatever comes your way. Living fully in solitude. To truly live fully, we must embrace the power of solitude. Living fully doesn't mean constantly seeking excitement or filling every moment with activity. Instead, it means being present in each moment, whether you are alone or with others. It's about finding depth and meaning in your experiences and living in alignment with your true self. 1. Embracing the present moment. One of the keys to living fully is embracing the present moment. Solitude provides the perfect opportunity to practice this. When you are alone, you can focus entirely on the here and now without distractions. You can appreciate the beauty of the moment, whether it's the sound of the wind, the warmth of the sun or the stillness of the night. This mindfulness brings a sense of peace and fulfillment that cannot be found in the past or the future. 2. Living with intention Living fully also means living with intention. In solitude, you can reflect on your values, goals and desires. You can ask yourself, what do I want to create in my life? And how can I live in a way that reflects my true self? By setting clear intentions, you can make conscious choices that align with your deepest values and aspirations. This intentional living leads to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. 3. Cultivating Gratitude 
Gratitude is another essential aspect of living fully. When you spend time alone, you have the space to reflect on the many blessings in your life. You can cultivate a deep sense of appreciation for the people, experiences and opportunities that have shaped your journey. This gratitude enriches your life and helps you find joy in the simplest of things. 4. Embracing Simplicity In solitude, you also learn to embrace simplicity. You realize that true happiness doesn't come from external possessions or achievements, but from within. This understanding allows you to simplify your life, focusing on what truly matters. You begin to let go of unnecessary clutter, both physical and mental, and create a life that is aligned with your values and purpose. 5. Building a life of meaning. Ultimately, living fully means building a life of meaning. Solitude gives you the space to discover what is truly meaningful to you and to align your life with those values. Whether it's pursuing a passion, serving others, or cultivating inner peace, living a life of meaning brings a deep sense of fulfillment and purpose. Conclusion, the path to inner freedom. In conclusion, the power of being alone is a path to inner freedom. When you embrace solitude, you free yourself from the need for external validation, the pressures of society and the distractions of the world. You become your own source of strength, wisdom and peace. Buddhist wisdom teaches us that true freedom comes from within. It is not about escaping the world, but about finding peace in your own heart. By embracing solitude, you can access this inner freedom and live a life that is authentic, meaningful and deeply fulfilling. So as you continue on your journey, remember the power of being alone. Take time to be with yourself, to listen to your inner voice and to connect with your true self. In doing so, you will discover the profound peace and freedom that solitude brings and you will learn to live fully, both alone and in the world. Thank you for being part of this journey, lovely souls. If you found value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to share it with those who might benefit. Your support helps Artist at Living continue to grow and spread wisdom. Until next time, stay inspired and live fully. Namaste.